It's mysterious. There is more going on in these moments than what our senses tell us. More than what we're seeing, what we're hearing, what we smell, what we touch, what we taste, what we speak. It's mysterious because what we'll experience today passes from mere sensory perception through the conduits of our emotional being into the realm of the soul. Yes, we will see rings placed on fingers. We will hear words of lasting commitment. There will be hugs and kisses and dancing and good food and drink. But in the end, when the music finally fades and the lights go down, we will know in our hearts that all of these things we have experienced on this special day pointed to a deeper, more lasting reality. A reality that is in many ways beyond our ability to truly understand and is therefore a mystery. And that mystery is this, that two can be two. And at the same time, two can be one. Uh, Alyssa, you look unbelievable today. You're the sweetest, most loving, caring person I have ever known. You have pushed me to be a better man in every aspect of life, and I am a better person with you at my side. Uh, I promise to be your biggest fan and supporter and always be proud to be your husband. I can't wait to grow old with you and fall in love with you a little more every day. I love you. It is so hard for me to put into words how lucky I feel to become your wife today. You are the most amazing man I've ever met. You are kind, caring, understanding, and my biggest supporter. I promise to continue to laugh at your jokes, but only the first time. <laughs> most of all, I promise to always love you on good days, bad days, and even in the morning. I am so grateful that I get to marry you today, and I look forward to starting the next part of our lives together. Today and forever, I love you, babe. Alyssa has been consistently the most loyal, hilarious, and fierce friend. She's the type of person that makes everyone around her feel better, and someone who people have always naturally gravitated to. She's always been my biggest hype woman, talking me up and there no matter what and without question. Always, period, done deal. I am beyond lucky and grateful to be able to now call my best friend and soul sister family and to see my cousin so happy and to have found his soulmate is such a beautiful, cool thing. There was a moment when you came home from the stampede when we were watching the real world Las Vegas as we, we did on most Wednesdays. And uh, he wasn't watching this particular episode. He was texting, texting, texting. And I said, Brad, you know, after a while, who are you texting? Who is this? Who's on, who's on the other side of this phone? And he said these words, unfortunately, not so eloquently. He looked at me and he said, dude, I met this chick. Her name's Alyssa. She's super hot. And I'm going to marry her one day. And that's true. That, that is, that's true. The, the best wisdom that I can offer you both is to love, honor, and be faithful to each other and to God. It's been awesome to watch Alyssa grow up to the lovely young lady that she is today. Strong, confident, and you probably, all, most of you know that uh, she's ultra competitive. Um, and I always used to wonder if anyone could ever be so deserving of my precious girl. And she met Brad, and he, he perfectly compliments her. He understands her sensitivity, he respects her, and he loves her. He encourages her to grow and to be her best. I love their faces when they see each other, they both light up. It's true, like you've seen it, they light up when they see each other. She lit up today when she saw him when she was walking down the aisle, she lit up. Alyssa's been a great part of our family. We got to share her moving to Vancouver, hanging out at her house, 
life went on, they moved back to Calgary. We're all okay with that. But it gives us somewhere to go visit. In winter time would be great. So to congrats to Brad and Alyssa on this, on this great occasion. And all our best for a long and prosperous life together. I'd like to take this moment to toast the married couple, my son and his new wife, Alyssa.